everyone, so today I'm going to be attempting to show you how I personally do my makeup in the way of Shiro Nuri. I say personally because this style, apart from the white faced element, doesn't have many rules and I sort of used the opportunity to incorporate my love of shiny things. Um, and I understand that some people might really like that, some people might not be so keen, so it's sort of like... I noticed there was a lack of Shirinuri makeup tutorials on YouTube and I sort of wanted to fill the void um, because there is a steep learning curve I feel with this um, so I'm just putting this out there so that it's available to anyone interested all the products I use I will put in the description box and if I can if you're aware of my editing skills already, you know this is a, a very difficult thing. I will try and put pointers into the video cohesively. So, let's start.
finished. Okay, so before I end, finish, um, I just want to talk briefly about what products I use and why and some things I've learned. I use Snazaroo's Blank de Clown or Clown White. In a, it's in a really rough pot, but meh, it looks like that. And I also use Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation in 01, which is the white colour. I mix them in a 1 to 3 ratio. Um, basically, I use these products because they give me the coverage, but they dry out. But they don't dry out in a nasty sort of flaky way. They dry out because this is this is so thin, and this the amount I use of this is just basically a pigment. It means that it's not heavy on my face. It's like a normal foundation, and it holds like a normal foundation, but it holds the color. Um, when I started, I used grease paint, and the problem I found with it was is that it either stayed too soft, so every time I touched it, it'd come away, or even with proper powder, the powder I use is Ben Nye's Super White. Um, I found that every time you smile, you move your face, a crease would form and it would get worse. Whereas this, this I've tried it out and it's lasted over 12 hours, so it's good. Um, I decided to use these products rather than buying uh, Geisha makeup. Japanese Oishiroi and Kabuki Abora, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, basically because I didn't want to spend £50 on a particular foundation set that I couldn't use otherwise and there's a lot of mixing involved, you have to put on layers of the, the wax and then you have to apply water and get the consistency right and it's a lot of hassle, a lot of money. Having said that, the three products I bought ended up costing about £50, which was the same price, but I feel these products, I can use them apart from Insura and Nuri. So those, I would have probably bought those products anyway, so I'm not too fussed. But yeah, if you want to do this to a decent standard, it does cost. Um, and that, that's pretty much all I want to say on the foundation front. I mean, the other makeup is just m mainly lime crime, uh, the cheapest lashes you can find, and then rhinestones, which are also dead cheap. So, oh, the wig, the wig is from Geisha Wigs, and it's called Ocean Sparkles, I believe. I could be mistaken, but I'll put, but as I said previously, I'll put all links in the in the description so if you have a burning desire to buy any of this stuff the link will be directly to exactly what it is um and, and yeah i think that's it um so if you have any questions or comments or whatever just leave them in the the bit below the video and i'll um if they're questions as such i'll try and get back to you with a satisfactory answer as soon as possible Okay then, bye-bye.